focus on Jesus. Focus on him. Stop focusing on you. Stop focusing. That's easy to say and hard to do. Focus on him. Pray. Spend time with him. This is not new. Paul talks about it in Romans chapter 7. He says, I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. This is not new. Paul was dealing with the struggle. And I want you to notice this. Paul, the great apostle who wrote most of the New Testament. Paul, the great one that we study about all the time and talk about his books. Paul was struggling. I don't understand what I do, what I do. I, what I want to do, I don't do, but what I hate, I, I do. I, I'm struggling here. And if the Apostle Paul was struggling, then I know that we are struggling too. But struggle is not the problem. Struggling is not the problem because struggling means that Satan has not won yet. You're not looking for that, that door, even though you're blinded. You have not surrendered yourself to them. Struggling means that you are growing in Christ and that you are continuing to grow and to deal with the struggles of life. Don't say to yourself that I'm struggling. That means I'm not a good Christian. No, you're a good Christian because you're struggling. If we had given ourselves over to sinfulness, then we wouldn't be struggling. But we have to struggle. That's what our life is all about. Paul says, I don't understand. I struggle. But then he goes on and says, wretched man that I am. Who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus delivers. We may not like the solution. It may be leaving town, leaving everything behind, leaving all of our furniture, all of our clothing, all of our money, all of our crops, all of our cattle, everything behind, and fleeing the city. It may be losing old friends. It might mean losing your home, your livelihood. But the key is focusing on Jesus. Focus on Jesus. Jesus says, all things are possible for the one who believes. Do you believe that all things are possible? The man came to him and said, oh, I believe. I believe. Help me, my unbelief. Help me to go stronger in my belief. This, when we look at this, this is when we come into contact where the rubber meets the road with verses like this, where Jesus says, Come unto me, all you that are la all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your soul. Seek not the kingdoms of this world. Seek not the things that are out there, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's what Jesus is talking about as he brings it all together and helps us, and helps us. This has kind of been a hard, heavy sermon. And we, I made a couple of jokes in there to help break the tension a little bit. But I hate to, 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 to bring this up and to talk about this and, and to, know, to know that we're struggling. We are a struggling people because there's a conflict between good and evil. It's a constant conflict, the things we ought to do and the things we want to do. It's a constant struggle, constant conflict. And some of us are dealing with struggles more than others. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand or stand up or come to the front or anything like that. But I would like for us as a congregation to take a few moment and to just think about the things that we're dealing with and then pray to God for that. Pray that he might be with us and help, help us in our struggles and help us to focus, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, relationships, whatever it might be. Would you bow just for a moment and pray on behalf of yourself and your struggles.
This is hard, Lord, because we are arrogant, overfed, and sometimes care only for ourselves. And when we look at ourselves and recognize our struggles and lay them before you, we want to control it. We want to be in charge. Help us, Lord. Shine, Jesus, shine. Shine in our lives so that we might shine in this world. Shine in the struggles that we have that your shining will overcome and will stand out above the, the desires that we might have. Help us, Lord, in our struggles to realize that, that it's you working in us and to not be discouraged because we struggle. To not give in to Satan, but to be willing to struggle, to struggle even more. Because you are the great God of heaven and earth. Shine, Jesus, shine. Shine in our lives. Shine in this world. Shine in our, our hearts. May you be with us always. In Jesus' name.